Hi, I'm Alex and today I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about photography in just a few minutes. Before getting started, please don't forget if you like my videos, click that button down below, subscribe, like and comment. Now let's get started. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna show you is the shutter speed. So we have here the Canon EOS 800D. Let's raise that mirror and I've set this to a um, longer shutter speed to see how uh, it goes. So I set it to 4 seconds, it started recording and now the shutter finished taking the photo. Uh, let's try for example a faster shutter now, let's say 100 uh, of a second, very quickly. So now let's see the aperture. I put here the nifty 50, the 50 millimeters, and let's see how the aperture, the aperture is that opening in your lens, and uh, we'll try to, to play with it. Just a second, let me put it to aperture priority. So it can be very tight, like f22, and it can be very open, like f1.8. The, the bigger the aperture, uh, the more light uh, gets in. The smaller the aperture, uh, less light gets in. Now, let's see how all these affect the light you get on your shots. We're filming right now on Canon US RP with the 24 to 105 uh, L f4 lens. So now we're at the 50 millimeters and let's see first the, the shutter speed. If we go now to let's say one tenth of a second, uh, that's a very slow shutter speed, we get a lot of light. While we we go to let's say one thousand of a second uh, very uh, little light gets in right now but all the shots will get at a high shutter speed will be like frozen so if you have a, mov a moving subject i don't know uh, for one thousand of a second you can uh, shoot like sports or birds it will freeze the action when you go to a very uh, slow shutter speed, you you will get a motion blur, so uh, subject movement, subject blur. Uh, now let's go to aperture. So this lens opens only at uh, f4, so uh, this is uh, pretty uh, wide, uh, pretty pretty wide open. So we have a lot of light. While sorry, just a second. While we, we decrease the aperture, f8, f11, f16, uh, we let uh, less light in. Uh, the, the other uh, effect is that we'll have more in focus, but with the, the loss of light. So this is uh, the explanation. Now let's go to the ISO. ISO is the sensitivity of the sensor. Uh, we are now at uh, 3200 ISO, so uh, let's try to to lower it. So now, right now, you see uh, we are at uh, ISO 100. So the sensor is uh, least uh, sensitive. So we get less light in, but we get the, the the cleanest images we can get. While we increase the the ISO, just a second. So we'll go to ISO, let's say 800, 1600, and we can go on this camera up to 2500, 600. We, get, we let more light in, but at the same, uh, the same uh, time we, we get more noise in the pictures. So uh, pictures won't be uh, so, so clean uh, anymore. Um, so all these uh, three settings, the shutter speed, the ISO 
and the um, aperture affect the, the light we get in the camera, uh, while the shutter speed and the ISO limitations are uh, based on uh, the camera. The aperture is a, a lens characteristic. It depends on the lens you are using. And uh, while we're talking about lenses, uh, let's see. Uh, right now we are at um, 50 millimeters. So this is a standard focal length. Uh, let's see the other effects. If we go to 24, this is wide. So let's try to get the same composition. You see, uh, when a wide lens, when we get our subject, it, it pulls the subject in. So it seems also bigger than the, the subjects uh, behind it. If we go, let's say, to telephoto lens, to a photo focal length to let's say 100 we're now at uh, 105 uh, it, it it pulls everything together so this apple it seems it it's it's uh, compressed with the subjects behind him um, there are also um, other focal lengths so uh, if you go uh, up from 105, it's uh, called um, ultra telephoto. And uh, if we go below 24, it's um, ultra wide. Um, besides the, the aperture and the focal length on the lens, uh, there are some other characteristics. For example, the lens has, um, can have image stabilization or not. The lens can be a zoom like this one or a prime. A prime is a fixed focal length. So let's say uh, you can have a prime of 50, a prime of 24. So we, it will be fixed. So you need to zoom in with your feet. And um, also regarding the lens, there are also some uh, specialized lenses uh, like um, macro lenses, for example. Um, I think this is uh, the closest focal uh, uh, distance for uh, cl focusing distance for this lens. Um, but with a macro lens, you can get closer to your subject and still focus. You see, right now I can't focus on the able, and you can get images uh, up to um, one per one the the sensor size. Uh, also, there are some other special lenses like tilt shift lenses, which are used for architecture. And uh, how these lenses work is, uh, for example, if we use a wide lens, because for uh, architect architecture photography, you will uh, many times need a wide lens. Let's see. Look at those lines. You see, those are parallel, but while we move up, it seems like they're converging. So this still shift lenses will correct these images and uh, uh, all these lines will, will be um, still parallel. Uh, so that's another thing. These are very specialized lenses and uh, very, very expensive. And uh, let's talk uh, also um, about uh, the sensor sizes of the cameras. So, for example, let's look at this Canon 800D. Okay, let's raise the mirror. So, this is a APS-C sensor. Uh, we have also full-frame sensor like this one on the Canon uh, RP, which we're filming right now, which uh, is twice the size of that um, APS-C. We also have medium size sensors, which uh, are again twice the full frame size. But we also have uh, sensors smaller than APS-C, like micro four thirds, uh, one inch uh, sensors, and also sensors which are uh, less than half of an inch, a square inch. And uh, these sensors are used in mobile, like in phones, tablets, and uh, laptops. Well, that was it for today. If you like this video, if you enjoy it, please click the subscribe button. 
and if you want to get all the notifications click also that bell till next time bye bye